Hey YouTube, how's it going? Thank you so much for watching Building a Country. Today I have another country farmhouse haul for you all. Uh, but the neat thing about this haul is it's all items that you can get at your local Walmart. So it's not things that you can order online. You can order online, but I just wanted to show you guys things that you guys could pick up right from any um, Walmart store that can make your house have kind of a country flair look, um, which I'm so excited to be showing you. So let's go ahead and get to it. I'm going to show you all the items. And what I really like um, um, about the items that I'm going to be showing you is it makes a perfect gift. And that is actually what I'm doing as I'm putting together this as a country farmhouse gift. And I'm really excited about it. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the first item. So, oh, and just so everybody knows, I spent less than $40 on all these items. It came up to $38 something. Um, my total was like $40 something because I added a sweet tea to it, which... Sweet Cheese Country too. <laughs> so the first thing I got is this really cute grain and feed. And it says established in 1924 rooster towel. It's a kitchen towel. It's so cute. 88 cents you guys. This is a great deal. I know that sometimes Ross will get in. They'll have two kitchen towels like this. And they'll be about $3.99 which I thought those were good deals. This is a good deal. 88 cents. Everybody head over to Walmart. Super cute. Love these. The next thing that I got is this really cute burner cover, and there's actually four in here, so let's see. This is what the back looks like. So it's got a pick, but there's four each, and they have, it shows right here the types that they have, but um, this one comes with a pig, a lamb, a rooster, and a cow. So, so, so cute. I absolutely love these, and these were $7.97, so great deal. Love it. The next thing I'm going to be showing you is the Pioneer Woman kind of has a like a lighting problem right now but it's these really cute easy peel mason jar labels and some of them say serving up memories to and from the kitchen table homemade by jam packed with love um, and what I love about these is first of all they were I think they were 347 um, there's six sheets and 12 um, stickers on each but what I love is they're great for if you have salads or bringing food to work. You can just put it on your container or mason jar. And then that way somebody knows who it is for and they don't need your food. As well as it's great for bake sales and whatnot. Just adds a cute country flair. Um, and yeah, so I really, really like this. I love the Pioneer Woman stuff. I think it's really, really cute. Some of it looks country. Some of it does it in my opinion. But this I just thought was adorable. And I love blue mason jars. I have such a nice collection of vintage blue mason jars. I have some that were my, I think, my great-grandma's or my great-great-grandma's. I'm not sure. But super cute. Love it. And I actually use a bunch of blue vintage mason jars for my wedding reception um, to put in like really pretty wildflowers and whatnot. So yeah, this was the fourth item, I think. No, the third item, excuse me. The next item you guys know I did a video on and it's this super cute rustic Better Homes and Garden um, picture frame. And this is a four by six and this was on sale for, I think it was six fifty seven. And if you guys are interested in getting a great deal on these, go watch another video of mine that shows um, these frames and you can see how you can get a great deal online. Absolutely love this frame. Super good quality, super cute, and a great deal. <laughs> so the next item I have, and this looks kind of like the Pioneer Woman style, but it is not. And I got this for $5. It's a kitchen rug. Five bucks, so such a great deal. Um, I just thought it, it looked like the Pioneer Woman, and it's really, really cute. It kind of has, like, I, I feel like the Pioneer Woman kind of has a vintage -y, colorful look, which I, which I like. And this just adds a little bit of color to your room and whatnot. So I thought it was a great deal and um, a perfect gift to add to this farmhouse country type of basket. I always say farmhouse, farmhouse slash country because some of my taste is farmhouse some of its country I kind of mix it up a little bit and make it my own little style which I mean everybody basically does because everybody has their own taste their own style and I think that's what makes um, these halls fun and what makes decorating fun is because it's your own taste and your own style and for those of you who have noticed we are not at my mom's house today filming um, we are at my tiny cottage which I absolutely love you can see like some of my junk like my water bottles out and whatnot um, but Mom is working today. We are hanging out at home doing this um, 
haul for you guys and Aria is supposed to be asleep. It is two o'clock and there has been no nap yet. But anyways, let's get to the haul. So anyways, the next item is so cute. It is these mason jar salt and pepper shakers and you buy these individually. You don't have to use them for salt and pepper. You could use them for uh, sugar. <laughs> Sugar, yeah, I guess you could. Um, cinnamon, different different things like that. They were 97 cents each. Such a great deal, super cute. And it says Golden Harvest, not for home canning. So anyways, I thought these were really, really cute. And I think the person I'm going to be giving these to will think so too. So the next item, last but not least, is this really cute tin. It's like a ice, um, an ice tub. But I think this is just really cute for decor. You could put it in your bathroom for toilet paper. You could put towels in it. You could put it in the kitchen for something. I mean, there's so many possibilities with this. And this was $7.97. Super great. I'm actually going to put all of the items in here and make it decorated super, super cute. Um, but that is everything that I got for under $40. Uh, just a bunch of simple things, of course. But actually, if you head over to Walmart.com, Walmart sells quite a bit of farmhouse decor that's absolutely gorgeous um, and the reason why they sell it just on walmart.com is because they get it from other manufacturers like businesses like Wayfair and all these different types of things um, these different sites and they will um, ship it directly to your Walmart in your town so you don't have to pay shipping um, which I thought was really, really cool. But if you head over to walmart.com and type in farmhouse decor, you can see all the choices they have there. And I'm so excited to be doing this haul today. Um, I'm thinking that I might be, start doing, um, if I have different occasions coming up and need to get presents for certain people, I might do like a farmhouse decor, like my favorite stuff of Etsy. Um, if I get enough gifts, which I don't guess I don't get enough gifts, but maybe I'll do like my favorites on Amazon and Etsy and maybe eBay and things like that. I thought that might be a fun um, way to spice things up. Since this channel is not just about decor, I will be getting more of an update on how things are going at the property. We actually got a new update, but I am going to let my hubby tell you guys about that. It is about, um, we have to have, oh, not, not a... Uh, we have to have like a monitor oh gosh I don't even know what it's called something on our water of what we have to have a water meter so there is a new update on that because the rules of our town actually changed overnight of course in the middle of our building but it actually may benefit us so that's pretty exciting um, because they they're making us put a water meter on our well even though it is our own well and we are in out of city limits we're in the county but anyways uh, this is supposed to be a short haul and it's almost eight minutes so i'm going to let you guys go but thank you so much for watching building a country i'll see you next time bye